Hello everyone, this is Arohi and in this video, I'll talk about the common problem which most of us face while working on data science or ML or deep learning projects. The problem of model performance means how to improve the performance of your model, right? So in this video, I'll show you practically how to boost model performance. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's start without any further ado. So the data set which I'm using today is this data set and this data set have two column. One is message column and the other column is label column, right? Means these are the messages and these are the corresponding labels, whether that particular message is positive message, neutral message or negative message. So over here, let's check the shape of this data set. Let's see how many records were there in this data set. So in this data set, we can see that we have 11 rows and two columns means only 11 records. And let's uh, perform value count on this label column just to know like how many different, uh, you know, values belongs to which particular class. So from here, we can see that we have five messages belongs to neutral class. Four messages belongs to positive class and two messages belongs to negative class. So this data set is very small, right? So now see whenever you want to improve your model performance, how we can the very first thing see there are few other things also, but the very first step which every data scientist will recommend you is increase your data. If you can means improve uh, increase your data. So in my today's class, I'll show you how to increase data, right? So in our case, data set is very small. Now we want to increase our data. So how to increase your data? So for that, I'll be using data augmentation or text augmentation techniques today. Now what is augmentation, data augmentation or text augmentation? Augmentation simply means data augmentation simply means we want to generate more data. We want to generate more examples from our current data set. Let me show you how. Let's suppose this is one review. This is a good movie. We have this one sentence. Now, with the help of data augmentation techniques means text augmentation techniques, we can create another examples also from this example we have created these five examples movie good awesome movie i like the movie enjoyed movie this is a nice movie right nice film so we have created five different examples from this one example so this is what text augmentation is so now i'll show you different uh, I'll show you two different modules for data augmentation by which you can increase your data so let's start so the very first augmentation module which I'm explaining you is text augment. So this is a text augmentation module. You can install it by using pip install text augment, right? So now how to use it? So over here, see in this line, you can see I'm importing this word net from this test augment module. So what is this WordNet? I've written comment also. WordNet is basically a dictionary for English language. So it have lots of, you know, words in it with their synonyms and antinomians, right? And this is specially designed for natural language processing. So what I'm doing over here is I'm importing this WordNet dictionary from this text document and I'm calling it in a variable. T is equal to WordNet. I've called this WordNet dictionary in a variable. Now t dot augment augment is a method of this word aug aug word net module and this is the sentence on which I want to work Pfeiffer technologies offer training to working professionals and students. So this is the one sentence. So I want to generate more examples for this particular sentence. So when I performed augment on it. So this is what I'm getting Pfeiffer technologies volunteer trainings to run professionals and students. See, sentence is this and this WordNet have uh, given us a new sentence. The meaning is similar. So this is how we can create, uh, this is how, you know, I, uh, by this method, we have generated one example, right? Now I'll show you other methods also. See, in this text augment, module we have one uh, module with the name of eda eda simply means easy data augmentation 
so now in t variable i'm calling this eda over here what i've used word net over here i'm calling eda now t dot random insertion see from the name itself you can understand randomly it will insert what will it insert randomly it will insert words randomly in this line so now i have a line i have this sentence and i want to generate i want to augment this line i want to have one more example of this line so the line is there are lots of career options after learning ai so when i applied this random insertion on it this is what i get there piles are lot of career options after learning ai so this word this word is inserted randomly in between the line and this line become a new example for our data set so in the same way using this eda we can use random deletion method also random deletion simply means it will randomly delete word with the probability so we you need to give the probability over here so what it what will happen is it will delete from this sentence it will delete this much of data 20% of data so our actual line is we provide training to students and working professionals and when we applied random deletion on it so this is the output we are getting professional provide trainings to students and working professionals what happens is it deleted this particular word and when it deleted this particular word it has given us a new example for this particular data uh, data point right in the same way we can use this random swap method as it clear from the name it will swap the words so what it is swapping is this is the actual uh, data on which i want to work so pyford provide trainings to students and working professional so what happened over here is swap the word working provide trainings to students and working professional it swap the words over here so by this way we can generate more examples so till now i have shown you how to use test text augment module now i'll show you one more module with the help of which you can generate more examples so the next module is nlp aug this nlp augmentation this is this nlp aug module is specially designed for natural language processing so you can install it by writing this command pip install nlp aug and this nlp aug module offer three kind of augmentation one is character level augmentation word level augmentation and sentence level augmentation from character level augmentation simply means it will change the characters few characters and will generate new example word level augmentation means it will change a few words and will generate new results and sentence level augmentation will it it will work on uh, sentences and will generate new examples now i'll show you one by one first of all i'm explaining you character augmentation character means it will change the characters of the sentence so if you want to change the for this character augmenter we are having ocr aug this ocr aug is a character augmenter whenever you want to uh, you know augment your data change your data and you want to work on character then you can import this uh, particular module right and if you see in next line over here i'm saying augment text and n equals to 3 this n equals to 3 means we want to generate three more examples and what is there in this text variable let me show you in this text variable i have this sentence pyford provide trainings to students and working professionals right so i want to generate three more examples on this data point by using this ocr augment and why three because in n i have written three so you can see this was the original sentence and these are the three different sentences first sentence second sentence and this is the third sentence what happened over here is this ocr augment have replaced o with zero see let me show you where is o by four this o got replaced with zero s got replaced with eight right so this is how see what happened over here is ocr augmenter made few mistakes why it made these mistakes just to generate new data 
right so this is how you can use character augmenter and then under character augmenter we have keyboard augment also this keyboard augmenter simply means it will replace the characters by keyboard distance means we have a this is the original sentence five foot provide trainings to students and working professionals now what will happen is see over here the output which i'll get after uh, implementing this is n will get replaced with m why because if we'll check our keyboard n is closer to m keyboard augmenter means it will check the distance between the words present on keyboard and it will replace it with that means it is replacing n with m so if we we'll check your keyboard n and m is very close to each other so it it has changed this n with m i'll show you how see working instead of working instead of n it have mentioned m over here and in the same way it replaced r with 3 on your keyboard if you we'll see r is closer to 3 so keyboard augmenter so this is how now what will happen so it is giving us a new example for the current sample only right and over here you can give n equals to 3 or n equals to as many samples you want it will generate those many samples and it will increase your data now next is random char aug means random character augmenter it will insert uh, characters randomly right and then we have random char Uh, augmenter it will delete characters right so when you'll execute this whole thing ls see this is our actual data set by for provide training to students and working professionals so and augmented text is it has deleted ls from the last so again by randomly deleting few characters we have generated a new example right so this is how this augmenter is working now let's talk about word augmenter word augmenter what will this word augmenter does it will replace the similar word with some words so synonym augment will find the similar word and replace it with replace it with the new word right so again the data original text is pyford provide training to student and working professional when i applied this synonym augment see what happened over here this professionals in the last get replaced with professional right so uh, again see whenever you'll rerun this code it every time you'll get a new example output right so uh, in the same way as we worked for synonym for the similar word now we can uh, there is one augmenter ent ent antonym augmenter what what this does is it will go for opposite words means this is a correct um, sentence so this augmenter will find out one word and will replace it with its opposite word so what it does is instead of working it replaces this working with idle right over here we are having sentence by for provide trainings to students and working professional after augmenting it this is giving us this sentence right so again we have generated a new example in the same way we have random word augmenter random word augmenter simply means it will replace the uh, random uh, words randomly so students see actual line is this and if you see the below line over here we have students and working professionals and after augmenting it is showing and students means it swapped the word and and student it swapped these two words uh, sorry working and professional is also swapped right so it swapped these many words and generated a new example so in the same way we have another augmenter with the name of split augmenter as it is clear from the name it will split the it will split the word and will generate a new example and you can see over here students get uh, divided splitted into two parts stu and dens and working is also divided into two parts wo and uh, ricking right so this is how you can generate more data by using augmenter
right so i have shown you character augmenter word augmenter i have explained two different kind of augmentation modules so you can increase your data by using these augmentation modules and you can improve your um, model uh, performance hope you like the video and guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching